Hey everyone, welcome back to Life Coach Lifestyle. Today we're covering something that's key to your financial health, your credit score, and specifically, we'll talk about the three big credit bureaus, TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian. If you've been wanting to understand how to boost your score, or if you're just curious about how these bureaus work, you're in the right place by the end of this video. You'll know exactly how these agencies affect your credit and the steps you can take to build a stronger credit profile. So grab a pen and let's get into it. So let's start by breaking down who the big three credit bureaus are. When we talk about credit reports and scores, it's these agencies, TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian who are behind the scenes gathering all that data about our financial lives. These companies are private entities, not government agencies, but they have a huge impact on your financial profile. They track details like your payment history, the types of credit accounts you hold, and how much you owe. Here's a quick example. Let's say you open a new credit card. That card issuer reports the account to one, two, or sometimes all three of these bureaus. Then each bureau tracks your activity on that account, whether it's making payments on time or carrying a high balance. When you apply for a loan or credit card in the future, lenders check one or more of these reports to decide if they'll approve you. It's also common for lenders to check just one bureau's report. So you might find that your credit score varies between the bureaus. This is totally normal. Each bureau might have slightly different information depending on what your lenders report. Now let's talk about why these bureaus matter so much for building credit. Your credit score, the number derived from the information these bureaus collect, is a measure of your credit worthiness. Think of it as a financial GPA that tells lenders landlords, and even some employers how reliable you are financially. A high credit score means you're more likely to get approved for loans with better interest rates, which saves you money in the long run. One of the first steps to building good credit is regularly checking your credit reports from all three bureaus. Did you know you can get a free report from each one annually at annualcreditreport.com by reviewing each report? You can spot and dispute any errors that might be pulling your score down. This is such a simple step, but it can make a huge difference. Let's dig a little deeper into how your credit score is calculated based on the information these bureaus track. Most lenders look at your FICO score, which is influenced by these five key factors. Payment history, 35%. Are you paying your bills on time? This has the biggest impact on your score. Credit utilization, 30%, how much of your available credit are you using? Credit history length, 15%, the longer your credit history, the better. New credit, 10% each time you open a new account, it can temporarily lower your score. Credit mix, 10%, this is the variety of accounts you have, like credit cards, loans, and mortgages. For example, if you're someone who has only ever used credit cards, your score might improve if you diversify with a small installment loan. The bureaus see a mix of credit types as a positive because it shows you can manage different types of debt. All right, let's get into actionable tips for building credit based on what the bureaus look for. Tip one, always pay on time. First up, paying bills on time. It sounds simple, but it's huge. If you set up auto pay, it can take the stress out of remembering every due date. And even one late payment can drop your score, so consistency here is key. Tip two, keep your credit utilization low next. Keep your credit utilization low. Let's say you have a credit limit of $1,000. Try not to go over $300 at any time. If you find yourself running close to the limit, consider making multiple payments in a month to keep the balance low. Tip three, maintain old accounts. Another tip, keep old accounts open. The age of your credit history is a positive factor. So don't close that first credit card you got unless there's a good reason. Tip four, diversify your credit types. Lastly, try to have a mix of credit types. If you only have one type of account, like a credit card, consider adding a small personal loan or even a secure credit builder loan if you're just starting out. I want to tell you about a friend of mine, let's call him Mike. Mike had always been cautious about credit, almost to a fault. He'd been using a debit card and cash for years because he was worried about going into debt. But when it came time to apply for a car loan, he found out that having no credit history can actually work against you just like having bad credit. So Mike talked to his local credit union and learned about something called a credit builder loan. This was basically a small loan, but instead of getting the money up front, 
he'd make monthly payments into a special account. At the end of the loan term, about 12 months in his case, he'd get the total amount back as savings minus a small fee. Now the magic part here was that every month as he made his payments, the credit union reported these on time payments to the credit bureaus. After just a few months, Mike started seeing results. His credit score went from non-existent to respectable. By the end of the year, he had not only established credit, but also improved his score to the point that he got approved for that car loan at a much better interest rate than he would have without that boost from the credit builder loan. Mike told me that going from worrying about his credit to seeing that improvement felt like a real win. And the best part, he also walked away with a little savings, which was a bonus. Once you start building credit, monitoring it is essential. Many financial apps now offer free credit score updates from at least one of the bureaus, which is a great way to stay on track. And if you want more comprehensive monitoring, you can sign up for services from the bureaus themselves. Checking your score and report regularly can also alert you to any suspicious activity like identity theft so you can take action fast. Let's recap what we covered today. The big three credit bureaus, TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian play a big role in your credit profile. Knowing how they calculate your score can help you take targeted steps to build credit. Key steps include paying bills on time, keeping balances low, maintaining old accounts, and mixing up your credit types. Finally, monitoring your credit regularly helps protect the work you've done to improve it. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Building your credit doesn't have to be overwhelming. It's all about small, consistent actions over time. If this video helped you, please like, subscribe, and share it with someone who could use a credit boost. And comment below with your top credit building goal for the year. I'd love to hear from you.